Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of a test of test for ourselves. Well, it's not a test really, it's going to be an actual fact. But um, after one hour of playing rapid 10 minute zero increment games on the strongest side in the world, what is going to be the number at the side of my name? That thing they call the rating. So let's dive in on this new mini challenge. Let's just push this pawn here. We don't really stand here. I feel like just resigning the game now. Yeah, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, unbelievable. Right. We'll go on to the next one. Let's bring the bishop through here. So this player is playing more natural. As you can see already, the flavor is quite nice. Uh, so he's attacking our bishop. What's our bishop wanting to do? Let's go here, but we're opening up their rook. This is a bit messy, isn't it? Look at the state on this. Shall we go here with the king? And he's just going to go to the corner. Let's go here with the king. Maybe it's time to give a bit of focus. Oh, he's gone there a bit quick. Shall we try and attack this pawn with the rook? Or to watch out, the bishops might get something special. Oh, it's him um, attacking. And his knights there defending. Oh, special times. Right, okay. So we can bring the bishop here if we want to bring the pawns back in line if the knight takes. Let's give that a shot. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Looks like a definite draw to me. Yeah, it's a draw. Oh, he's moved down. Let's go here. Does that make a difference? So he has to move a piece. Just moving the bishop backwards and forwards. System's going to cry out. It's a draw. Let's just offer the draw. There we go. All right. Nice one. That was a normal human type player. You know, those games you can appreciate. So there's no rush. And the rating has gone down by 10 points. Because we lost the first one. We've drawn this one. Let's resign that one. That was my fault. Ah, I messed that up. <laughs> all right. So let's have a look at what we're on. 12.26. We're not going up at all. That's how we go. So I think the majority of the games have been my fault. And apart from the first one, I think I didn't like that one. That was very strange. And the others have just been my fault, really. Yeah, so could have got wins, but... I did not use the mantra, really, in the crucial parts of the game. And that was a key thing from the over the board tournament. Didn't use the mantra to the best of my abilities at all. Oof, roadworks. So they've not castled yet. Knight's probably coming out. So let's use the mantra now. Yep, yeah, let's get some good focus going. So it's not like we got absolutely slaughtered in those games. We had the opportunities, but we just totally messed up the position. What's that? Did I... I'm not going to lose tonight, but you know. Oh, it's 1100. I didn't even look at their rating. Don't make any difference. They're still all strong anyway. Oh, what is this fancy check business? Look at that. He can't move his knight though anyway. But he still gets the rook because I can't actually take the bishop off the board with anything. Oh, what the days. Oh, well. Oh, well, 1100 strong, 1200 strong. Let's get down to 1150, I think. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this is why I said, you know, the journey to 1150. I've got a few videos on um, how low can I go. It was genuine. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Let's just take this. Right, so I think if I don't do any talking now, just focus and concentrate. You know my thoughts and views on it now, so let's just crack on. Oh, come on. It's a bit of an obvious move, really, to bring the rook there. Yeah. Again, it's a bit of an obvious move to bring the queen here or here to protect the pawn. Or the rook. Queen can actually take the bishop, you know. Because if I take, then he just comes down and gets a back ranker.
Oof. So we're still on the downward slide. Started at 12.46, we're now at 12.34. Let's see how we get on. 12.30, then 12.00, little baby picture there, yeah. Don't know why they put baby pictures on there like that. It's to make you think, oh, this is going to be easy. Yeah. Watch this grandmaster come out now. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> in a little bit of a pickle told you little baby picture Grandmaster. Sprite didn't take there. Uh... moment plus one but there's all this maybe we should have castled but the basics of chess dude i was wondering whether i was castling there or not but now maybe we can queen's getting trapped I can feel it in my water. I can feel it in my water. Let's go, castle. Rook attacks. Uh, do we squeeze back? I don't. There's no real safe space for my queen. Goes for the capture. Oh, it's going for the basic captures. That's, I think that works, doesn't it? So attack the bishop or queen. No saving it. 
Look at them rushing to get the queen. You can tell I've got, it's trapped. Oh, he's got my king. Come on, get my queen out of there. It's not giving me time to get my queen out. He's rushing. You can tell the rushing to trap it. Come on, let's get it out somehow. Do we have anything? Oh, look at that. Straight off. I'm going to attack theirs. No. It's trapped. Come on. Please don't trap. Oh. Was he meant to come here? No, maybe not. Can we squeeze the queen here? I'm going to attack their queen. Space here. It's attacking us, attacking us. And bit of space, bit of space. Trying to, uh, can we get in there? Queen's busy protecting that. Gonna double with the rooks, as we know that for a fact. Can we double ours here fast enough? Attacking the pawn gives them something to think about. But rook in the center of the board, really, but we'll see. feels like we're building something but they do have oh, is it... he's ignoring it what is happening why are they ignoring it are they just thinking well I can just bring the rook here yeah all right attack the rook might forget themselves don't think the queen could have come around here we still do have this pawn comes to protect rook attacks the queen maybe not okay we squeeze here but he's got this pawn protecting so it's not going to be much queen's got no space down here at the minute nope Give us that time noise rook's gonna come down hit the queen um uh, else gonna come here push the pawn attack this pawn it's not gonna give us that time so we may as well just do that queen's moved oh interesting they moved there very quick didn't they let's go back to this position see if we can get away with this one Oh, he's getting our pawn before we get to push. So he was going to be defending the pawn with the queen. I think the king's going to move out of the way. So, oh man, let's push anyway. Get the queen here. There might be some sort of pressure we can put on. Could have even got the queen off the board, numpty. Well, could still do it. His rooks, where are his rooks? Take. Got to check on the king and the queen takes. Ring takes, queen takes. Um, could get a draw. Could 
could fly here, couldn't I? But then he just moves to the side. Oh, they've resigned. I don't know if it was resignable, they could have put the work in. You know, even if they've got two rooks against the queen, queen comes here, checks, 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 checks. You could have gone for a draw. Rapid game. Let's uh, push here. 12.33. Let's just bring this like we do. This castle. He's going for the fried. He's gone for the fried liver. He's gone for a different version of the fried liver. What is this? Now they've got me a bit worried now. I mean, they've given up pieces and... Queen's wanting to come and put the check on. Bishop can defend, I suppose. Can't move there. All right. Oh, come on with the magic stuff. King supporting the kick knight, then. What the heck is going on here? Attack the queen. Pawn pushes down, attacks the. No, his queen's just gonna take, isn't it? With some sort of fancy mate or something. Oh my god, come here, takes the pawn. I don't really like this, this looks weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that because. Yeah, he just takes there. Pieces are all jammed in, aren't they? Let's get the queen off the board. And that should be all the rope. Wow. Scary. They're still playing on. No way. Could have taken the damn pawn. Oh, full of them tricks. Take and then his um, rooks come here and gets the queen off the board. It's a shame this is not... Ooh, okay. Queen's getting hit. How are they still playing on? Come on. You can't fluff this now, dude. Seriously. That would be very upsetting. Could just take it off the board, he's got less pieces. Oh, Bishop. Would have gone with the Bishop or would have got the Rook off the board. Cheap style. <laughs> Let's not get arty. What did I just say? Let's not get arty. And what do I go do? Oh, for a shine on Harvey Boone. Oh. My God. Oh, could have taken. Oh, I can't because I was in check. So maybe I should have gone here. Because then he has to move back. It's not done that, so we'll put a check on. And that's got to be it now. Special times.
again. Let's see what we've got in store this time with this uh, 1200. And let's just attack the pawn. Let's develop the knight, supporting the pawn. And shall we bring our bishop out? Who's going for the fried liver? They're going for the fried liver. They're thinking about it, or do they just go and castle? You know they're thinking about it. Oh, they're not going for it. Let's just castle. And let's just open up the dark square bishop, keeping it simple. Let's see how simple this 1200s chess play is, or are we going to suffer the wrath of complicated maneuvers that block us, jam us in, we can't move anywhere, and they're just getting our pieces off the board? I think we'll attack their bishop and see what options we have. Are they taking, doubling the pawns? Or are they going back? Excuse me, going back. Or are they just staying there? Are they just going to bring the knight in? Lots of are ah, there's what could have, should have, would have, maybes. Am I leaving any pieces to get trapped? Key thing for me is don't get my queen trapped if I can avoid it, you know? So they're putting a lot of thought into this, so it looks like we're going to be, yeah, they do capture. Let's take. Looks like it's going to be a long, rapid game. So the x ray through to our queen, looking to take advantage of the weaknesses in that aspect. So we can just see if the bishop actually wants to take the knight off the board, or they're just showboating. Yeah, they're looking to obliterate. Because they're taking so long of the moves, I think they are thinking they're going to obliterate the pawns. They're going to sacrifice the knight, so the queen is, excuse me, the queen is in front of the king. Does it work for them? You never can tell. Well, you see, sacrificing or something, yeah. So we're going to take the um, bishop off the board, and we want to see if we can get our queen here and get it across here because their queen is looking to come here but currently the knight is protecting this area so there must be some sort of attacks that they're looking to do to try and get down but this bishop currently is stopping that so i think we want to just get our queen here if the knight's jumping here this pawn is protecting if it's coming here it's going to get the rook so it's a piece for a piece as far as i'm concerned i think the knight will jump here for a bit of style points. School of Fort probably should have moved here to stop that. Most painful part about <clears throat> these chest type things, well, he's just flicked off then, didn't he? He's just flicked off. He could have actually got our, but we're gonna go here with the queen, like we said. Could have moved the knight actually taking the pawn or something well maybe not taking the pawn but moving the knight because the rook's on the queen but the queen's going to come put check so i'm going to bring the queen here like we said then hopefully that was a missed opportunity because i think the knight coming here they would have won the rook so we can hit the pawn he pushes down so i'm going to hit the pawn because we've got the x-ray through at the moment i think the king is going to feel fairly safe coming here and getting the rooks attacking our king gary so somehow we need to get mobilized <clears throat> knight's got space here to attack the queen attacking the pawn attacking this square that's protected by that lots of things potentially could happen but you could tell from the way that the stance the cells with the bishop and they're taking so long over it was either going to be the knight or the bishop doing some sort of sacrifice and it's not saying what we've done is correct because we had made one error, I think. Yeah, so they've moved the king. So I'll give them something to think about, which is the knight coming here attacking the queen. So it's attacking a higher piece. So where does the queen go? It's probably still wanting to stay here to be in front of our king. Is there anything else? Then after that we can probably take but we have to be very careful because if the rook comes behind 
So the Queen's moved back protecting the pawn. We have given them something to think about. We can't jump here because the Queen is there. And we can take the pawn like we said. But we have to be very careful because of this type of thing. So I'm going to take the pawn. Shift the King across. Shift the King across. Because they're chomping at the bit to get that position. Knight can come here. It's just he does have his knight there. Which is a shame. So we really want the knight to move. But I think he's just going to stay there forever. Doesn't have any protection. So we could go and attack it with the queen. So this knight's blocked the way. So we could actually take. Before we do that. We go here. Knight takes. Pawn doesn't take because the queen is going to get hit but the knight hmm i think there's some sort of continuation there we're going to attack his knight his knight moves somewhere or doesn't move or it just stays there or the king comes to protect i'm going to attack the knight do we come off of the line to attack the knight that might be the safest option, might it? Let's come off the line and attack the knight. I know they can take the pawn here. If they take, we can take the knight. Hopefully a steady build up. Does his knight want to come here or something? Not sure yet, it's not sure yet. The build up feels okay because we were prepared for it. It doesn't mean we found the perfect defense for it or counter attack rather. But because there's many pieces, well, there's pieces that we can attack. We've got the pawn, we've got the knight, we've got the knight. It's giving them lots of things to think about. Kings come in front of the rook, that might be a saving grace for us might be so if we take then it does open up the rook to a, put a check on the king but the king's just going to move to the side but it gives rook, the rook space to attack their rook obviously their knight can then come and attack oh interesting does it get block, blocking rights let's attack the king so the queen can squish here Oh, can't squish there now, but Bishop takes on the pawn. Knight can't move because of the X-ray at the moment. Queen's got a spot here. Mm -hmm. So it's not clear cut. It's not finished in any way, shape at all. And we're a minor piece up, but positionally is the position position is what I'm really interested in. It looks like we're squishing the king, but you know, there's all sorts of things they can do to defend. Get the queen in. Sorting the rooks out. Hmm. Bishop's on the pawn, but I'm not really my brain is focused on attacking the king, but maybe I need to refrain from that thought process and just think wider and take a slower process to getting some advantages. So we've got another piece attacking here. So the bishop can attack the pawn and it's attacking the rook as well. So I think we can take the pawn with the idea of if they do move, then the queen can take here and have a check on the king but they might have method in the madness with something else queen coming here then we just take the rock off the board so we have to wait to see what they're doing again we've got pieces under attack again throughout this game we're, we're attacking the knight but through the knight is the king the knight can't move we're attacking the rook. I think the rook will just take the rook off the board at this point because it's got a check on our king we have to take. So it might help them adjust a bit. I don't know if we'll get time to take the knight with the queen because they're probably attacking the bishop, but we'll see.
so really letting the time run down here they're giving it four i'm just queen attacking the bishop we take the um, rook rook takes rook takes queen attacks the bishop but then we take the knight because the queen can protect or does the queen do something like this but then we oh and they've resigned okay that was a to me it felt like a nice game because we we kind of circumvented the potential threat around our king area because the whole idea is about putting pressure towards the king isn't it that's the that's the ethos that's the concept of chess uh, and trying to get a checkmate and with the opponent taking that long pause at that position we thought something was coming we thought something was coming either they were going to move the bishop back and then we're going to push the pawn and then they were going to do some sort of sacrifice i felt something was coming and that's all because you know our king is home alone in a sense you know that's what they're thinking so they did take and captured so they're trying to make space around it does work if say the knight's not here and stuff like that then the queen can come here and start harassing and the knight can usually jump here and put pressure towards the king area but of course we've got a pawn here got the knight here um we did make the wrong move but it's not it's not saying it's a massively wrong, wrong move we lost three points from that i think really moving the queen here would have been better yeah so hindsight yeah should have just moved it there because we even said afterwards you know it can come here and attack both so it should have been a queen move there not a perfect game from me as usual but um we enjoy playing the game so at this point then it was looks pretty straightforward just having a look to see if there's any kinks anywhere so we move the king out of the way it's plus nine And that's a massive pluses isn't it just st steady movement steady attacks yeah very smooth yeah there's a 24 hour 10 minute arena going on i was interested in looking at some of these 1200s and see what the crack is with the standards it looks like it's just started a little bit excellent right okay Oh man, they played a 1900. No, that's no, that's not right, is it? That's e. Okay, this is not going to end well. It shouldn't. Okay, so they're playing a way advanced person against 1200. So let's see how the 1200 gets on. Let's go for simple prevention rather than cure, but not getting castled. Very basic situation probably needs to get activated i hope they don't make that mistake of bringing the bishop here because the queen is actually protecting the pawn so that's one of the issues they've got with this position if they're looking to do that but they're not even prepared to get castled yet so they probably need to start getting the bishop out they've already disrupted the castle once by bringing this pawn here and this pawn must have been chasing something because now it's, it's kind of given space even though this pawn is protecting so are they actually going queen side castling because they've messed their castle up on the king side so it's too much activity going and not looking at the king's safety again that's like not too intricate a detail type thing um simple basic chess kind of gone out of the window here so they must be looking to get a balance i think they'll probably bring the knight out here yeah which they have done and it looks like they're probably going kingside castle and they'll probably just bring the bishop here in the next move and still look to go on kingside castle or not they might bring the bishop here but at least now the pawn is protected by the knight so the bishop could come out or they go with the bishop attacking through normally what they would attack you know it's like attack 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 but this player is them um, thinking well i'm must be well probably thinking i'm playing a 1900 i'm not going to overextend let them come to me but that might be a mistake now he's got a two on one so he's kind of allowing them the space that they need 
whilst he's trying to play safe and thinking they're being clever. So many things that can happen. Does he protect? Does he just x-ray through because the knight then can't actually take the pawn? Or do they not think like that whatsoever and just think, well, okay, so they're attacking a higher piece. So that if they take the pawn, then at least they take the bishop. So they've got something to think about. 1900 probably saying, well, I'm not going to take. I'll let you extend out. But then the bishop does get trapped. So I think it probably is going to take. But. <laughs> Get my fingers right. So obviously simple capture. So now it's doubly protected, but the knights jump straight in wanting to get rid of more protection, but it'll still get protected anyway because the pawn will be here. It's just that the pawn won't be protected. So it looks like the 1900s getting a little bit impatient and they're extending out, not wanting the opponent to get castled, which is a bad thing for the 1200 because the king is not going to be safe if it's left in the center of the board. So that initial starting process for this game, we weren't here at the start. It's the case of not getting castled. The opponent themselves, the 1900, can castle at any time now because they've got space to do so. But they're keeping the attack going to give them something to think about, stopping them from going castling. So they may pay the price for not actually castling the king. Which would be a shame. On the plus side, it's still safe because the queen can't actually stop that. So he could bring the bishop out and then just castle. Not minding the fact of doubling the pawns here. But don't overly protect by bringing the queen here when you could have had time to just bring the bishop out, give you space for castling. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Lots of thinking going on here. Um, no, 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 no. Like we said, attack. Give me something to attack, you know? And the king needs to be protected. Simple as. So developing another piece to get that out of the way. No matter what the impact is going to be here, he's going to lose tempo in terms of king safety and position on the board. He could freely take. There's no issues there at all. This person's not got castled. Yep. Freely take. I mean, I'm seeing the gauge bar, but I don't really care about what that's showing. I'm showing, I'm looking at the human aspect here of it's not got castled. It's losing tempo. Could just wipe stuff off the ball because it's doubling the pawns. Weakens the area around the king. On the plus side, you can say, well, okay, the 1900 maybe overexerted themselves there and they're attacking like a basic chess player. They're not utilizing their pieces together. Maybe they shouldn't have taken. And now they've gone playing like a 1200. They're just going for the attacks, the attacks, the attacks. It's not supported by anything. A rook can easily move. What dangers has that mo What dangers has that manu maneuver caused? Hmm. So the rook can move, and it's pretty even Stevens at the minute. So the knight takes the bishop, so what? It doesn't really improve their position. So that was very basic manoeuvres from the 1900. They reverted, they basically had a nice solid position of keeping their pieces together in harmony and then building an attack towards the king. And now they've just allowed the 1200 to get, to me, looks like a half decent position of potentially putting pressure on the king area. 
so it happens across the board and the 1200 didn't do anything special at all they just sat waited their king was it's still not castled now so it's still very weak um, but they could they do have time to actually just do a king walk and just go here and let the opponent think about what it is that they think they're doing to form some sort of attack so yeah um i won't say cleverly done by the um and now they're stopping them kingside castling <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't have wasted my time really doing that, but I suppose in a way he can bring the bishop here and nothing's really going to be touching that. So they're attacking the rook. Rook can look to double up because now it's got the space. Could just go here. Yeah, oh my god, it's that move. And then obviously they're going to hit the bishop, but the bishop's wanting to sit here. Nothing's going to be touching that. So it can stay there forever and a day, stopping the castling on the king side. This 1900 is making the 1200 look really good. And I'm observing the game and the 1200 isn't doing anything special. So it's not one of those at this minute where I'm going, oh, they're vastly underrated, etc. Um, it's the 1900 is probably overrated in this occasion. And that can happen quite easily. So this is a fun game to watch looking at the errors and mistakes and etc from both sides of the coin and they are vastly different in the ratings 500 points difference what is this are they looking for the rook to come here to put pressure onto the pawn because the pawn won't be able to move because the bishop is on the queen that looks really it it can work it, you know it, it, but what's happening smaller piece attacking a higher piece 1900 is definitely not playing like a 1900 and what the 1200 doesn't want to do is go too quickly we did point this out already yeah we pointed that out in the early part but now the queen's coming back he doesn't need to rush he's got three minutes find those appropriate positions that's a nice strike yeah we said the bishop was always wanting to come here so these are all simple maneuvers and i'm trying to think whether there's anything outstanding with these nothing is i don't have any issues with what the 1200 is doing to the 1900 at the minute the 1900s allowed this to happen they had the best position earlier on and now all of a sudden they're playing like a 1150 this 1200's playing slightly better So they've castled on the queen side now feeling fairly safe but all i can think is now these pawns are going to start pushing up yeah i don't know if they've got that type of patience so they, they haven't so they've gone taking the pawn there looking for the exchange so he's going simple i think because they've got pressure on this area here so they're looking to exchange off Oops, excuse me gets the rook here very simple chess Good maneuver. Oh dear me. Get this rook here. I think that's what he's looking to do, surely. Oh no, I think I'm probably going to bring the rook here. Putting a check on. So then he can take pieces off the board because he can go boom like that. And his bishop's going to have a check on. Oh my god, what did the 1900 do to themselves? <laughs> if I can see this, then anybody can see this type of stuff. Check. He's got nowhere else to go. Has to move here. The rook could even just take the bishop off the board with a check. Yeah, king moves, so it's probably going to move to the far corner. Rook then can move back up again. So then it's won a minor piece out of that. Don't know why they... There we go. Exactly. If I can see it, anybody can see it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Whether they take the bishop or not, they should do because yes, <laughs> ah, lovely. Uh, obviously, bringing it back up again, yeah, sorted. And I think the nineteen hundred should resign and then rethink why they are a nineteen hundred and go back to the drawing board of their opening concepts and ideas. 
1200 didn't do anything special here i saw what they were doing could go for the exchange because he's a minor piece up anyway so don't get too arty dude that's the thing you know let's not get too we could take here but then he's getting checks on him we don't want any of that okay take it easy take it easy he's going for the thing again check again could still take because he's like I say he's a minor piece up he is down a minor well he's down on time so that's the only way that he's going to lose this by time need to be yeah, he's not allowing any of that yes he's taken excellent let's get this rook up or oh, maybe forget about the pawn sorry yeah get the pawn get the rook across Get it up. Although the king can't. Yes, there we go. I'm going to say the king can't support until. And it's done. This is done. Happy as Larry. Fantastic. Needs to not make any blunders. That's what the 1900s expecting. They're waiting for you to make a blunder. Can't even put a check on the king here. So there's no point in them actually doing that move. He's doing it anyway, but there's no point. You don't you don't need to lose any sleep, do you? just nice and steady. It's tucking this. Does he not? No, he doesn't. It's gonna he's looking for a draw. But he can actually just attack the rook again. I suppose he just dances back with Oh, but no. You know what he's gonna do? So he move here this time, then he attacks. The rook, the rook can't then go here because the bishop can take. It's still going down anyway. It's got like a. Oh, I thought it was a checkmate for a second then. Right, don't lose it now, dude. Don't lose it now. Steady as you go. Steady as you go. Check. Push. Push. No push. You haven't got time for fancy business, dude. You need to push the pawn. Got to check here. If he gets his king here, but his pawn's going to push before he gets his rook there for a checkmate. 41 seconds, that's pressure. The rook's in. No, oh, and like I said, the pawn's going to get there before you get that. I can see what you're going for. You have to come back down, but then he does have a bit of space here. Come on, don't you do it. Right, off you go now. He's trying to get it blocked off, but he's got space here with his king. Dude. What is it? Two second increment or something or the other. It's done. No, it's not done. Uh, it's going to try this but it's too close together you don't want that oh it's going to lose on time this is not right it's not going to let him have that or oh, he's going to get a draw the 1900 does not deserve a draw oh it might be done oh Check, 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 check. They do not deserve a draw. Come on, you can do it. Mm. Yes, it's done. It's got to be done. Yeah, he's not getting any of these pawns now. It's going to have to sack the... Well, yeah, sack the um, rook. It's all over. Two seconds increment. I'm sure he can peel these pawns off with his rook. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing special there, 1200. Yep. 1900 needs to go back to the drawing ball. Just block him if you want. He's not resigning, is he? Not resigning. Oh! Oh, no! 
You are joking me. Mouse slip. Right in the dying seconds. No way. Oh, I feel so bad for them. I feel so bad for them. That's the life of a 1200. Absolute brilliant basic chess there. The 1900 did not deserve to win anything because they played like a 1150. Yeah, so I was really pleased with the 1200, the standard of play that they were taking. There were moves that I understood. Nice, simple, straightforward stuff. No magic involved and just time management towards the end and the 1900 used their skill and knowledge in time management just giving the opponent things to think about because they've got more pieces on the board it's harder for the opponent to find those appropriate positions and that's always the case you know you get so many pieces on the board in a fast game like these types of things um it doesn't really matter because you've got too many things to think about all he had to think about was his rook and the position of his rook where our opponent our player was thinking bishop rook what can we do reposition here all those things take take time oh poor thing that's the life of the 1200 oh, let's push through the center here attacking the pawn 1287 they are so they're on the higher end of the 1200 I'm hoping for normal play, no, nothing special. Let's take. Looks like they're a steady plodder and they've gone for this thing. So let's just develop pieces. Make space for my castling, maybe. Let's just develop the bishop attacking the knight. Try to give the king some company, maybe. They obviously know what they're doing in terms of the plan because they've moved the knight so they're obviously used to doing that type of thing because it's a little bit unusual might be normal to a lot of people but the amount of games that i do play it's very rare that i see that type of maneuver so we can take his pawn takes knights on here gets the 20 points because our king doesn't castle we can just turn around and attack the knight it's moving it twice I want to develop some more pieces. Could attack, but then his pawn just drops. I want to make space for my own castling. So I could just bring my bishop here. I'm going to do that. I'm not rushing anything in terms of taking stuff off the board at this point. Because it's one of those odd maneuvers where I'm thinking I might lose tempo if I go over the top. So let's bring the knight here and just defend the pawn. And we're getting ourselves set to actually start. So this is going to take. And what we were saying was taking here, the pawn takes. Then we can bring the knight around attacking. And then we've got the rook supporting there now. So I'm going to take now. So the pawn takes. Now we've got support for the queen if they do go for the exchange with the rook. And we are on their pawn. So we'll take because he's got a check on our king, but now we can take the pawn as well for free. It's going to x-ray through doubling our pawns. So it's like their sort of compensation. But also if he does take the knight, then they get our pawn. So how do we want to work this? There's nothing else. I suppose we could bring the rook here defending. Yep, sounds like a plan. Let's just bring the rook here defending. Still the same thing though, because I can't protect this pawn even if the rook does take. And they've changed their mind. They've changed. Why did they change their mind? I'm not sure. I'm going to bring the rook back. They must have complicated, um, complicated that situation because they would have won out if they carried on with what they were doing. So it's not, not the best position for us. But it looks like it's improved because they've just retreated. Can't 
Kessel. That should be okay. All right, so now they're going to be hitting our knives as well. Doubling. Is it too, too, too soon to double? Attack just pushes the pawn down. No, 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 that. So let's do this. Yes. Protecting the pawn like crazy. So the knight wants to just jump here. Supporting the bishop, attacking the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. So there's no castling at the minute. But there's no immediate threats on them either. So we're just jostling now to try and give them things to think about. Whilst they're doing lazy man's chess. So I'm going to take here, doubling the pawns. And where does the knight want to go? Just attack the bishop, attacking the pawn. So you'll have a cluster of pawns in the centre, unless of course his king comes to protect. And trying to take opportunity against this um, lazy man thing at the minute. So we'll take and put a check on the king and the rook. So we can take, their rook goes into the far corner. Bring the knight here attacking the pawn that was always being protected by the bishop. So they're still continuing with the lazy man thing. So let's just take the pawn off. Can take, he's got a check on us, but just move the king out of the way. Oh, he's gone the other way. Okay, that was strange. Let's take the pawn. It's got an x-ray through, so let's push this pawn here, supporting the knight. And I need to stop narration mode now, because I'm getting into a rhythm. So the knight can put a check on the king and get the pawn off the board. He's, where's his knight looking to go? Is he getting a fork on us? Let's put a check on the king. Got to be mindful the rook is going to quickly come here once we take this knight. Yeah, got to be mindful of that. I don't know if we're going to do it. We take, the rook comes here, x-ray through to the king. We push the pawn to protect the knight. The knight takes the pawn, king takes. It might work, might it? I don't want to lose a piece. Let's go with that. Rook quickly comes here. Yeah, push the pawn supporting. Am I missing something? Did I sacrifice something to win the tempo? It's got an X-ray through to the king, just in case anything kicks off. Get onto a white square, are we safe? Now it's got no protection at the minute. It's looking to double dose it. Um, so if we attack the knight, king comes down. No, king comes. No, it doesn't come down. Let's attack the knight. It's got no protection looking to get a double attack on here obviously what the oh god i thought he'd got a damn four coming for a second attack the knight again attack the knight again he attacks the queen king get the king to s hopefully safety on a white square but is that the square that my knight wants to... No, my knight can go here. Right, looking at time-wise, five minutes. And what's the position looking like? His king's looking fairly safe, isn't it? So we're swinging round, swinging round, attack, trying to attack, get rid of the knight or something. Oh, what is this bishop wanting? Coming here. 
Bring the knight here. Are oh, we doubling? Are oh, we doubling just to get the rook off the board? What's this knight? Bishop move. Let's just double. Not sure what the knight move is. Maybe it's just coming here. Oh, you're having a joke, man. Oh, come on. Why didn't I see that? Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Ugh. Oh my gosh, damn. Mm -mm -mm. That is not good. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 that is not good. Not impressed with that. Not impressed with that at all. A little bit too clever for me there with your little knight move. Hmm. Come on, focus. Maybe I focused too much. <laughs> yeah, overly focused, didn't I? And I just... God, I allowed them to get that. What is this stuff they're doing? Take the pawn. What's the bishop looking at trying to do? So I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's take this pawn here. Strange looking moves. That knight's not in. Just going to put a check on us. Let's just take this off the board. I don't know what you're trying to do, dude. Put a check on. Four minutes left. Can't believe I messed that up. But it's how you come back from these things. I'm hoping they're not using some magic. So you're just looking to get the rook off the board. got a check on him actually so why is it taking so long I don't understand why they took so long try and go for the bishop tumbleweed moment All of a sudden, the sea stuff hit the rook. Rook takes the pawn. He's got to check on our king, so we can't do that. It's coming down for the pawn here, actually, as well, isn't it? Got to check on me. Do I go backwards or forwards? Don't want to go there, it's just checks, checks. Don't want to really go there, checks, checks, but the knight's protecting. Yeah, probably go here. Then he attacks the pawn. If he attacks the pawn, we go here. Goes for the pawn. Rook's really not in the game, is it? It's cancelled. Goes for the pawn. Yeah, he's got to go for the pawn, hasn't he? I've got no other answer. The knight's not been able to protect it. Going backwards and forwards. Hmm. 
Yeah, look at you. Here is not good because the bishop can put a check on, rook can take. Maybe it's better. No, because he can just put checks on my king. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. They might be looking for a draw, might they? We've got like loads of pawns though. We should maybe we should be able to do something. Bad position. Knights protecting this pawn, so if they forget themselves, maybe we can do something. Or should we push this pawn onto a white square? And if they forget, just take the rook off the board. Oh no no no! He's got some sort of bishop action. I, I just saw it. I just saw it. Oh. Give me strength. Oh. Right, we're going to have to use the two pawns against them. Going to have to use the two pawns. These One of these has got to get promoted. Oh, steady on. No panic, no panic at all. Let's go here. We've got this end game mastery. We've been practicing these end games. We've got this. This, this can't be lost. Got too many pawns against one flat rook. Oh, that's the one. Oh, shame. I thought his rook was here. <laughs> I thought the rook was there. I thought I had him. Oh. Close, but no cigar. We got this. We got this. Come on, come on, come on. This cannot be lost. This is the end game of the end games. You have to lose your rook. It's done. He's going to take, but the pawn is too far up the board. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Feeling good. Oh, well, maybe the rook's just going to be putting checks on. And this is where the art of the possible. Rook's going to just come and put checks on the king. King can move up. Let's go here. Yeah. It's done. I have the confidence. I believe. I believe it can be done. Yes. And if I hadn't practiced end games forever in a day, we would have been scuppered. Obviously, I made a botch losing the piece earlier, but we gained an advantage. Check. Time, time, time. It is inevitable. Should really resign now, 1287. Good game, good game. Lots of things to pick up from there. Well, not really. It's just about not losing the damn... That fork with that rook knight was the killer. Did not like that at all. I didn't even see it, did I? I 
Uh, so the bishop moved up and we then moved here. No, we moved the rook. But there's no fork yet. So he puts the check on the king, we move there. Bishop's down defending and we're going, well, what is that? And then we move the rook, but that is protecting the square. But the thing is, it wouldn't have made no difference. So we had to, we should have done something different. Because he's got the check on the king. So maybe even just moving the king. No, can't move it there. Can't move it there because he's going to have to check. Could have moved it here. I know it's opposite the king rook, but there's nothing really putting pressure on. So we could have just moved the king here. Gauge bars are green. It's not moving. Simple things. Gosh. Yeah, totally wrong move, but it's still showing three point, you know, three point three. Oh, I'm surprised at that. Still showing three point three. Three plus three. Oh, hold well on. Man, I don't need to beat myself up then, do I? Oh, it's still showing good. Although really, yeah, so that's still showing good there. That's fine. But that one move there was not right. Although I really wouldn't want to push, put my king there. Is there anything better? What about going this way? Would that work? Oh, it's happy with that. It's happy with that. Yeah, so I should have done that way. Nice one. Good game.